continue make more videos as the days go by. It's last two three days. I really didn't give a fuck about paying attention to the computer at all. It was just a portal that I did ignore these past few days because I don't want to face these fucking complicated bullshit. Whatever this fuck face. Anyway, yes, I'm here to intrude on my voice again and I'm gonna fucking make some videos and always explain it to how it is. So it is 3.37 p.m. over here Mountain Standard Time on a Saturday on the 21st of November of 2020 and so fuck this fucking times are fucking crucial and critical and so just face the craziness with the fucking heed head on fucking force wrath and to keep the fight going strong and burning fire and strength stronger than strength itself so there you go in my energy fields my protection grounds and so I continue these days um, I made a list where I have these tasks to do so I wrote down all of my thoughts that were scattered brain everywhere so I have to write down my list to do a to-do list so here it goes making this video is first reporting Facebook and get in contact with the abuse content of the social media profile on Facebook hire an international attorney to see if I could hire someone who will work with me internationally to track down this fucking fuckface Mika overseas foreign policy so I'm gonna hire an international attorney to see if we can track down this fucking sick fuck uh, we're gonna still do our reports to ic3.gov fill out the complaint form also another task I need to catch up on reporting on gmail abuse the complaint form and then we're going to try to locate the IP address from where these fucking emails are coming from. Find the host of where these emails are originating from. Make complaints and block their IP addresses. So yes, this is today's task and it's going to happen. So I'm going to be opening up various articles and read them out loud and just portray to this video where I'm fucking sick of it this fucking internet parasite fucking online stalker fucking tendencies so yes they ask me to fucking challenge me and fucking fight and so I'm gonna just heat on and fucking destroy this motherfucker In general, the police are more likely to be able to help in some way with the following forms of online harassment. You have received or been named in direct threats of violence. An example of threats that suggest a time, place, or location are more likely to be taken seriously by law enforcement. Uh, online abuser has published non consensual non-consensual sexual explicit images of you or other naked pictures of other fucking female cunts disgusting you have been stalked via electronic communication you know the online harasser I wish to seek a restraining order Okay, so I came across a website called Action Fraud, National Fraud and Cybercrime Reporting Center, and I had looked up this article in the link where we have some victim resources for cybercrime online reporting links and information and something valuable related to um, in the
this article, so I'm just going to read it. My report has been disseminated. What does that mean? If your account says that your report has been disseminated by a police force, that this means that your report has been passed through the National Fraud Intelligence Bureau to police force for investigation. That police force will have to provide you with a named point of contract for your report, agree with you how you want to be updated on your report, provided you with an enhanced service if you are a vulnerable victim. What service the police provide is set by the victim's code of practice. Under the code, you have specific rights which include to have the right to be kept informed about the progress of your case by the police. You have the right to hear when a suspect is arrested, charged, bailed, or sentenced. The right to apply for compensation. The right to make a victim personal statement to explain the impact of the crime. The right to apply for extra help when giving evidence in court if you are vulnerable. The right to be told when an offender will be released. The right to the information about taking part about your restorative justice schemes. And the right to be referred to the victim support services. If you feel that your rights are under the code that have not been met, you can complain directly to the police concerned. Just saying why action fraud can and not investigate to have investigation powers to have reports taken by the action fraud are sent to the NI or excuse me NFIB. So this is, uh, I guess, a website based out of the UK, but if you sign up for this service or online cyber report link, you can just apply to UK. But also just to make pinpoint um, reading this article and explain the details on how this investigation is lit manipulating it so read on why well, hasn't my report been sent to police force it is not always possible for every report to be investigated by police but if you are a suspect located overseas and there's not an information contained within your report that doesn't mean your report hasn't been useful so pertaining to that is just saying it there's no adverse uh, effects just making a report with this website so but these reports could also be used as for the NFIB they can continually review your data and match your reports to identify criminals behind the scams disrupt telephone numbers, websites, and bank accounts from the fraudsters used to scam people. Use the intelligence to help law enforcement agencies build up cases and catch criminals. Provide fraud prevention alerts that help protect the public from future harm. Work with overseas jurisdictions such as Interpol and Europol to highlight fraud that help catch criminals around the world to help dem demonstrate the harm caused by fraud and cybercrime. This evidence helps the government understand the threat and allocate more resources to combat it. Remember that you can update your report anytime by logging in additional information here, which will not be reassessed by the NFIB. NFIB. Okay, here is another article in this website, Action Fraud, who are the National Fraud Intelligence Bureau. The National Fraud Intelligence Bureau sets, along action, sets alongside action fraud within the City of London Police, which is National Policing Lead for Economic Crime. The NFIB 
B receives all of, of the actions, frauds, reports, millions of reports of fraud and cybercrime are used by the NFIB to identify ser serial offenders, organized crime groups, and finding emerging finding emerging crime types. What is the NF the NFIB do with action fraud reports? The reports are accessed and analyzed by NFIB experts. Data matching allows reports from different parts of the country to be linked through analysis, identifying the criminals behind the frauds. Reports are sent to local police forces, law enforcement agencies for investigation. This applies to bank accounts with websites and phone numbers, which are used by fraudsters, can be taken down by the NFIB. Saying also that not every report results in an invest investigation, but every report have a spilled a clear picture and can contributes to making the UK a more hostile place for fraudsters to operate and helps to keep other potential victims safe. So the NFIB, if data through three main channels, reports from individuals and small businesses coming either directly or via a police force made to action fraud on the phone or online fraud data from industry and public sector which includes banking, insurance, telecommunications and government departments a variety of sources including but not limited to national and international police crime intelligence systems okay so here is my website national cybersecurity alliance reporting the cybercrime Responding to identity th theft, fraud, and cybercrime on this page. Cybercrime can be particularly difficult to investigate and prosecute because it is often crosses le legal jurisdictions and even international boundaries. Additionally, an offender may disband when criminal, go op criminal operation only can start up a new activity with a new approach before an accident even becomes the attention to the authorities. The good news is that federal, state, and local law enforcement authorities are becoming more sophisticated about cybercrime and allowing and are devoting more resources to responding to these threats. Furthermore, over the past several years, many new anti cybercrime statutes have been passed to empower federal, state, and local authorities to investigate and prosecute these crimes. However, law enforcement needs your help to stop these nefarious behavior to cyber criminals and bring them to justice. Who to contact? Your local law enforcement, even if you have been targeted a multi-jurisdictional cyber crime your local law enforcement agency, either the police department or sheriff's department, has an obligation to assist you, take a formal report, and make other referrals to other agencies when appropriate. Report your situation as soon as you find out about it. Some local agencies have detectives and in other departments that focus focus specifically on cybercrime. The Internet Crime Complaint Center, IC3.gov, which I am making appropriate reports to from this spam inbox Gmail account, so this also applies. IC3 will thoroughly review and evaluate your complaint and refer it to the appropriate federal, state, local, or international law enforcement or regulatory agency that has jurisdiction over the matter. IC3 is a partnership between federal, federal of investigation and the National White Collar Crime funded by the Department of Justice Bureau of so Justice Assistance.
complaints can be filed here. We already know how it, the form looks like. Does this ring a bell? Yes, it fucking does. Federal Trade Commission, the federal, the FTC does not resolve consumer complaints, but does operate a consumer sentinel, a secure online database, which is used by civil and criminal law enforcement authorities worldwide to detect patterns of wrongdoing leading to investigations and prosecution. Victims of identity crime have received additional help through the FTC hotline. Identity.gov provides resources for victims, businesses, and law enforcement. Your local victim services provider. Most communities in the United States have victim advocates ready to help following a crime. These providers offer information, emotional support, and advocacy as needed. Finding your local victim service providers here. Collect and keep evidence. Okay, so I typed in how to report international cybercrime in Google search, and this is what came up. If you believe you are a victim of internet fraud or cybercrime, report it to the Internet Crime Complaint Center, IC3, or you could use the FBI's online tips form. Your complaint will be forwarded to lo federal, state, local, or international law enforcement you also need to contact your credit card company cybercrimefbi.gov the fbi is a excuse me let me start that all over again the fbi is the lead federal agency for investigating cybercrimes by criminals do to protect yourself from cyber criminals how you can report cybercrime, and the FBI is committed to working with our federal counterparts, our foreign most wanted. Okay, so this is the actual website for the police of Finland, and it's giving me principal forms for reporting an offense. I'm going to click on uh, report on stolen property, and there's the form. There's the name, the address. Okay, so I found the online police in Europe uh, cybercrime online report in various countries, and I'm going to click on Finland. Translate in English. Offenses requiring immediate police action are usually cases where crime is ongoing or just taking place or where the police need to collect evidence from the crime scene. With electronic crime report, you can also report a stolen identity. The reports and about the service is directed to the police department of the basis, the place where the crime took place. The police check the criminal report received through the system and record it in the police information system. Reports are mainly processed. An electronic crime report can be withdrawn through the electronic crime reporting system. To report this address,
Okay, so I typed in how to report an international cybercrime, and this came as a result to keep and record all evidence of the incident and its suspected source. Police. Below is a list of the government organizations that you can file a complaint with if you are a victim of cybercrime. Report computer or network vulnerabilities to U.S. CERT via the hotline at this number or this website reporting a cybercrime complaint. Harassment by reporting cybercrime to all appropriate authorities. You can play a role in making the internet safer and more secure of all. Once you discover that you are have become a victim of cybercrime, immediately you notify your local authorities to file a complaint. Keep and record all evidence of the incident and its suspected source. Below is a list of government organizations that you can file a complaint if you are a victim of cybercrime, which includes my Gmail accounts tluna6578 at gmail.com and evo moon i at gmail.com so I guess that you can file it. this sounds kind of like the target right here phishing emails so let's report this or read this actually Report computer or network vulnerabilities to U.S. CERT via the hotline or the website. To report phishing attempts to CERT, U.S. CERT, forward it phishing emails or website to U.S. CERT at phishing-report at us-cert.gov. That sounds appropriate. I've already talked to FTC, IC3 still applies, so this is kind of, I guess, the right direction, another resource where I could, I finally found something or some relation in phishing reports to reporting links, so this is going to be a resource that I make a video and just fucking stop it. Okay, so here's this website, the United States Department of Justice is an official United States government website where you can report uh, or gives you an article about reporting computer internet related or intellectual property crimes and it's just saying that uh, this is a website that should be reported to appropriate law enforcement investigative authorities at the local, state, federal, or international levels. Depending on the scope of the crime, citizens who are aware of federal, cro federal crimes should report them to local offices or federal law enforcement. And reporting computer hacking, fraud, and other in internet related crimes tells you uh, the primary federal law agencies that investigate domestic crime on the internet include the Federal Bureau, Bureau of Investigation, United States Secret Services, and the United States Immigration, so this is another, or another enforcement that they cover. Uh, each of these agencies have offices conveniently located in each state to which crimes can be reported. So just go over that. Skim over in general. Federal crime may be reported to your local office and an appropriate law enforcement agency either by a telephone call or requesting the deputy complaint agent. 
Each law enforcement agency has their own headquarters in Washington, D.C., and these agents specialize in particular areas such as, like, the FBI in the U.S. Secret Services both have headquarters based in specialists in computer intrusion, in example, computer hacking services. And then this just gives you a list to determine which federal investigative law enforcement agencies that may be appropriate for reporting certain crimes, kinds of crimes. So it just gives you a list of the appropriate agencies to make these reports to. So the type of crime, the federal, appropriate federal investigative law enforcement agencies such as computer intrusion. So I need to locate or get in contact with the FBI local office, the Secret Service, then IC3.gov, password tracking, trafficking doesn't apply, counterfeit of currency, the most exploitation on earth. No, you we know, That doesn't apply. Internet fraud and spam. I need to locate the FBI local office, the Secret Service, FTC, uh, securities of fraud and best investment related spam email, securities and exchange commission, the online reports at IC3.gov. Internet harassment, FBI local office, and these other two do not apply. So it just gives you a couple of resources where you could just make these reports, which I have been doing with IC3.gov. So you guys kind of know about that website. So I'm just going to end this part on this end right here.